we're going to talk about a hiatal hernia, what to do, the best home treatment. I have done another video on this, but it's hard to find. So I wanted to create another one with some additional information. What are the symptoms? Indigestion, heartburn, bloating, feeling nauseous, shortness of breath, anxiety, heart rhythm problems, panic attacks, and belching. What is a hiatal hernia? Well, the stomach should be underneath the diaphragm, okay, which is right here. The diaphragm is a muscle that allows you to breathe. But what happens with this hiatal hernia is the gap between the esophagus and the stomach becomes slightly bigger. And so then the stomach starts to bulge up into this area right here. And this right here, there's a lot of nerves involved. This can trigger problems with the heart, the lung, the stomach, all sorts of issues. Okay, so I'm going to show you a very, very simple thing to do, a uh, simple technique, okay, and it's basically acupressure. What you're going to do, you can take a device like this, the longer end, and you can press up in to both sides. So I'm going to demonstrate this here. So my diaphragm's right here. You don't want to press right in the center, okay, because there's a little, the bottom of the sternum is called the xiphoid, and this little piece of cartilage, you don't want to press right there. You want to go right to the right of it, a little down, and you want to press in and up. Okay, so you're trying to, you're actually stretching this. You're taking the spasm out of it because there's a there's some tightness in there. It's like a Charlie horse. And you can just press up in there on one side and hold. Or the other side, you press up and hold on that side. You can also use your thumb. If you take your thumb and press just to the side, up into this stomach area, and you press in and up, okay? And you just hold this, and you can even like um, stretch backwards, and you're, you're just kind of creating more space in the area. You don't have to necessarily worry about how much pressure because you're doing it and you're controlling it, so you can adjust that very easily. Of course, you're not gonna you know, use a knife like this, but you can take your thumb, you come up in there, and you just hold that until it releases and then do the other side right here, okay? So you wanna do that you know, three times a day um, if you need to. And what you're gonna notice is that you're gonna experience a lot of relief. In fact, I want you to comment down below if you do experience relief and tell me about it. I'm gonna read the comments. But what you're doing is you're kind of taking this congestion and getting rid of the congestion. You're allowing the food to kind of flow better through this area. So you wanna push in and up to the left side and the right side. Now, I would also recommend also going to the right, more up underneath the right rib cage, and maybe a little bit down in this whole area right here, and do the left side as well. Okay, why? Because there's usually not just one problem going on. There's usually a combination of things. So we have the stomach, but then we on the right side we have the gallbladder and the bile ducts. On the left side, we have the pancreas, and there's also little tubes and ducts on this side too. So if it's pain, more painful on the left, that's more of a pancreatic issue. If there's more issue on the right, that's more of a gallbladder issue. So the remedy that you normally should have with a gallbladder is purified bile salts, and the remedy for a pancreas would just be a complex of enzymes, an enzyme-type supplement to help that. Of course, ideally, the thing to do is get your diet corrected. And if you're new to my channel, I put a link down below of exactly what to eat. Betaine hydrochloride. This is a natural acidifier. Very beneficial to help the stomach have more acid to digest the food, which will then release a lot of these symptoms. So this is a more of a corrective thing. Over time, you'll find that you'll have less issue with this hernia. Also, intermittent fasting is going to be very beneficial because if you're eating a lot of snacks and, and overeating and eating frequently, that food doesn't quite get through this area too well, and it can back up and cause a lot of problems. So the combination of these three things are going to be very, very beneficial to actually resolving this. Even if you had to do this technique three times a day, that's better than having surgery, which is the alternative or getting on some medications. And if you have a, like heartburn, for example, and they put you in an antacid, well, what's gonna happen? It's gonna take the acid out of this area 
and you may find that every time you do it, you might feel better and then worse. Because usually the situation is low stomach acid to begin with. So the best thing to do is to acidify it unless there is an ulcer. But go ahead and try this right now and comment down below and tell me, tell me what happened. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.